Hi, how's it going everybody? So finally we have the official Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra One UI 4.1 update. That was a lot to say, but it's here and I'm gonna show you guys some of the features that I think are worth talking about. And there's actually some pretty cool features with this update. So I know your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. First, I wanna show you that this actually is the One UI 4.1 update. So I'm just gonna go into my settings. Okay, as you can see, this is the One UI 4.1 update running Android 12, obviously. Okay, so let's get into the features. So first thing I wanna show you is improvements to the Pro Camera app. So if we go into Pro Mode, you can now see that the telephoto lenses have been added to Pro Mode. In One UI 4.0, only the ultra wide and wide lens were available in Pro Mode, but now you have access to all the lenses, which is a good touch, thank you Samsung. Also in pro video mode, you have access to the same telephoto lenses as well. Portrait mode, also an extra lens has been added. You now have access to the three time zoom telephoto lens when in a portrait mode. Also in portrait video mode, you also have access to the three times telephoto uh, lens as well. So a lot of options there if you like taking photos or making video. That's not all either. There has been some other improvements as well. They've also added new features to the photo editing app. So now if you have a photo, you can add portrait effects afterwards, even if you didn't take a portrait photo. They've also improved the remastering. It deletes shadows and reflections now if you want. Also in director's view, you can save videos from the front and the rear camera in case you wanted one of them later on. Okay, moving on. If you have an S21 Ultra and you have an S Pen, they've made some improvements to the Samsung Notes app. So now, if I have a web page open, or an image. This works with a picture as well. And I open up the note app. So I click on create notes. It's going to give me an option to either save the link of the website I just had open before I open the notes app or save the whole page to the note. So all I have to do is click on add picture or add website, sorry. There you go, takes a few seconds, but saves the whole page, or you could just save the link, it's all up to you. So nice touch there. They've also made improvements to the RAM Plus settings. So if I go into my settings, and I go into battery and device care, memory, and there's an option down here now for RAM Plus. I can choose how much RAM Plus I want to allocate. And I have options up to eight gigabytes, as you can see. So better RAM Plus management there if you need that option. And another thing they've added is a smart widget feature. So if I hold down on a uh, one of the home pages and I press on widgets, it gives me the smart widget option here. And if I add that to my home screen and I've already added it, so I already have a smart widget here and now I can stack widgets on top of each other and I can just scroll through my widgets like this. I think this is really cool because it just keeps your home page nice and clean if you use widgets. Now that it's cleaner, I might start using widgets, but we'll see. They've also added some more sound settings. So if I, again, go into my settings, scroll down to accessibility, and click on hearing enhancement, 
I now have the option to adjust the left and right earphones on devices that I use, either my phone or a connected device. So for everybody out there who likes to mess around with the sound settings, uh, you have more options now. And there's been a bunch of smaller changes too. I just wanted to show you a few features that I myself might use. And that's it for me guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.